Hey guys and welcome to today's video. In this video I'm going to show you how you can connect your locally running Meteor app to a remotely hosted database hosted on MongoDB Atlas. And quickly before we get started, please subscribe to my channel for weekly videos on everything to do with front-end web development. And if you found this video useful, please comment down below and say so and drop this video a thumbs up. So let's get started then. So I'm kind of half doing this video because I always forget the setup anytime I want to connect my local Meteor app to a remotely hosted Mongo database. So I'm going to assume that you've created your project and things on MongoDB Atlas. And I've created a test project here called Jiminy Cricket. So let's click on through to Jiminy Cricket. And from here, we'll need to create a new cluster. So I've already got a example cluster here already set up but you'll need to create one as well. So if you click through to create new cluster, you'll want to select in the region here, you'll want to select the region that's closest to you to avoid any unnecessary latency and things like that when connecting to the database. So select the region that's closest to you. And for the cluster name, remember that whatever your cluster is called, you can't rename it. So make sure you call it something appropriate before you create the cluster. I just left mine as the default name for the example one I've created. So I'm going to cancel out of this and go through to the example one that I've created. And then we need to click on collections and click on add my own data. Now we need to actually create a database. So the database name, I'm going to put test app here for the database name and the initial collection name. Again, I'm just going to put test. But if you already have collections and you know what your collection names are going to be, it might be a good idea just to initialize that first collection and input the first collection name here. So I'm just going to put test for now and hit create. Then once that's created, we can see we've got test app database here and test as the collection name. So from here, we want to actually connect to our database. So hit database access on the left here under security and we need to actually add a database user. So hit add new database user and then we need to create a password authentication. So our database user, I'm just going to put admin here for now and the password is going to be admin 1234 as we can see here 1234 and let's keep the read and write to any database privilege there and hit add user. So once that user is created, we need to go to network access and hit add IP address and hit allow access from anywhere and hit confirm. So once that's finished setting up, then we need to go to back to our cluster and we want to connect then hit the connect button here. Then we want to go to connect your application and we want to select node as the driver and the version we want to select as 2.2.12 or later. So then we can copy this connection string here. And as we can see, we've got some highlighted elements in this string. So the admin and the password. And if we scroll all the way across as well as the database name. So if we just copy this connection string for now, and then I've actually already created a example meet your app or a demo meet your app which is going to when I first run it it's going to create a links collection and it's going to insert a bunch of links in to that collection so we know then once we connect it to the database it'll automatically insert those links and everything should be working so from here then you may be thinking that we're going to add the mongo url to a settings.json file and that has never worked for me I've always had to export the Mongo URL manually, it's never worked actually specifying the Mongo URL in a settings.json file. Even though the documentation says that's where you specify your Mongo URL, and that is where you specify your Mongo URL for a production site, but when trying to connect locally to a remote database, that's never worked. So all we need to do then is type Mongo underscore URL in the terminal and set that equal to and we want to wrap that connection string. So we'll paste the connection string here, but we want to wrap it in single quotes. And the reason we want to wrap it in single quotes is if we go all the way to admin and password, the reason we need to wrap it in single quotes is because if we've got special characters in our password, then it's not actually going to work unless we wrap the entire connection string in a single quote. So here then we need to replace admin with the username we created to connect to the database. And remember, I actually called mine admin and the password I gave it was admin1234. 
Then we need to go all the way across then to the database name here and remove that database name. And then we need to replace it with, if we go back to Atlas, I can't remember what the database was called. So if we go to collections and there we go, I named the database test app. So if we go back to the code then and we replace that DB name with test app here, then this is our connection string. So you may want to copy this connection string for future use instead of having to manually update the admin or sorry, the username and password and the database name every time. But then from here, after the Mongo URL, we just type Meteor Run and hit enter. So to make sure all this has worked then, let's go back to the browser. And if I hit refresh on our database here, we can see it's created a new collection of links and it's inserted a bunch of example data from the Meteor tutorial or the Meteor example app that they give you. And yeah, there we go. This is how we can connect then a locally running Meteor app to a remotely hosted database on MongoDB Atlas. <laughs> Thank you.